Hello, and welcome to your November labor market update for Northeast Minnesota. My name is Carson Gorky, and I am the Department of Employment and Economic Development's Regional Labor Market Analyst for the Northeast region. Over the next couple minutes, I will cover the latest updates on labor market indicators in the region, including unemployment, employment, wages, and labor force participation. So let's get to it. Let's begin with the latest jobs numbers. The current employment statistics program provides monthly jobs updates for states in large metropolitan areas. Total non-farm employment in Minnesota remains down 6.2% from October 2019. Since last month, the state added just over 13,000 jobs, a change of 0.5%. As this chart indicates, the pace of employment recovery has slowed in recent months. After six months of recovery, over-the-year losses are still greater than at the worst point of the Great Recession. Employment in the Duluth metro area, which encompasses St. Louis and Carleton counties in Minnesota and Douglas County in Wisconsin, remains down 8.1% over the year. However, in October, the Duluth metro area added over 1,600 jobs, enough to grow 1.3%, which is the fastest monthly increase among Minnesota metros. While all three sectors, all but three sectors added jobs, this growth was led by local and state government, as well as transportation, warehousing, and utilities, which all grew over 3% from the previous month. The leisure and hospitality sector lost jobs for the second month in a row after significant gains the four previous months. Financial activities and federal government were the other two sectors that shed jobs over the month. Next, data from the Local Area Unemployment Statistics Program show that Minnesota's unemployment rate dropped to 4.6% in October on a seasonally adjusted basis. That's down from a peak of 9.9% in May and 5.9% in September. In Northeast Minnesota, the unemployment rate fell to 4.4% from 5.8% in September, which is lower than the pre-pandemic rate in March and equal to the rates we saw in June and July of 2019. However, taken alone, this relatively large decrease can be somewhat misleading. While unemployment has fallen consistently since May, employment trends have been much more mixed. Following a 2.7% increase from May into June, employment growth in the region has stalled, growing only 0.9% or just over 1,300 jobs over the past five months. In fact, only 40% of the more than 12,000 jobs lost during the initial months of the pandemic have been regained. The vast majority of declines in, in unemployment are due to workers leaving the labor force altogether. The labor force was in decline before the pandemic and has only accelerated since its onset. Initial unemployment claims, or the first set of claims filed by an applicant, peaked in April at just over 19,000 before dropping off significantly. October saw a small increase, however, as workers in more seasonal industries such as construction, forestry, agriculture, and fishing began to see more layoffs. Continued claims are those filed repetitively and are a better indicator of longer-term unemployment trends. After peaking at an average of nearly 25,000 per week in April, continued claims declined consistently through October. Part of this decline may be explained by claimants exhausting regular claims and moving over to extended benefits programs, such as the Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation Program, or PEUC, under the CARES Act. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, the number of claimants in extended benefits programs in Minnesota grew fastest in September, which would align roughly with the exhaustion of six, six months of regular benefits for those workers that have been claiming benefits since March. DEED recently released data from its second quarter job vacancy survey. By surveying thousands of businesses throughout the state, the job vacancy team is able to produce measures of hiring demand by industry, occupation, and much more. In quarter two, the number of job vacancies in Northeast Minnesota fell 19% from the previous year. This was the second smallest decline amongst the planning regions. The trend of decline was not shared across all industries, Indeed, construction, professional, scientific, and technical services, and even retail saw increases in vacancies, 
The largest declines were in, were in administrative services, arts, entertainment, and recreation, and accommodation and food services, which all fell by about half. You can see these trends in the occupations that saw the greatest annual percent increases or decreases in vacancies. On the increase side, there were several construction, maintenance, and sales occupations. On the other hand, many of the occupations that saw the greatest declines in vacancies were administrative or serving related, such as food and beverage serving workers. The past eight plus months have been difficult for the Northeast Minnesota economy, to say the least. The recovery of employment appears to be slowing and a shrinking labor force means that job seekers will be increasingly hard to come by for businesses looking to hire. On the other hand, workers continue to face difficult decisions that can place their family's economic security and physical health at odds. We at DEED will continue to monitor the labor market closely and provide timely and accurate information to all Minnesotans. Please feel free to contact me with any questions. We'll see you next month. For more information or to find the DEED Regional Analyst for your area, visit our website or contact any one of us seen here with your questions. We will be happy to help you access and understand the information and data you are looking for. Thank you and have a great day.